Betty's Daughters back with you with another fantastic DIY tutorial. So this week we've got a bit of a twist. We are doing, uh, instead of the glamour and sparkles we are featured in our previous videos, we are focusing on a rustic wedding theme. Rustic wedding, just think of countryside chic, it's perfect for a summer wedding. So to achieve this look we used lace and burlap which is the old favourite for the rustic look. We also got the Old Faithful, the mason jar. If you like a tutorial on how we created this, let us know by commenting in the comment section. So I'm very excited to announce that we as Betty's Daughters have taken it to the next level. We've opened up our event decor company. We're based in the Midlands and we'd love to help you decorate your wedding, your bridal shower, baby shower, gender reveals, any event. We would love to give you a hand. So do give, do give us a shout. We are available on Instagram and Facebook and we also put our email address in the description box. So in this week's video I'll be showing you how I make two centerpieces using some recycled items that you can easily find in your kitchen. Namely, I will show you how I made a centerpiece using a tin can and a beer bottle. So if you want to find out how I did this, keep watching the video. So I begin by soaking my used up beer bottle in some warm soapy water. I leave this to soak for about 30 minutes. This just makes it easier to scrub off the, the glue holding the label. And then now using a brush, I'm just scrubbing away the glue residue which comes off really easily. Just leave me with a nice clean bottle to work with. So once I've cleaned it up, I leave it to dry and I only start working it when it's completely dry. Now that my bottle is completely dry, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and some twine. So the plan here is to cover the bottle with the twine. So I'm just applying with the paintbrush some Mod Podge at the bottom end of the bottle. I'll leave it for um, about 30 seconds just to get it uh, nice and tacky to make it easier for me to stick the twine onto it. So here I am, I'm, I'm beginning to put the, the twine on the bottles. I'm just holding the end down just for a few seconds to make sure that it's stuck down nice and secure before I start wrapping it around the bottle. This is really simple really. All you need to do is just wrap, keep wrapping the twine round and round the bottle, um, adding more Mod Podge or glue if, um, as you go along to make sure that it, it adheres well to the bottle. So once you've covered your bottle, here I just used a jute ribbon to cover the rim of the bottle because I couldn't quite cover it with the, with the twine. And at the bottom I've just added a bit of lace trimming uh, just to, for decorating purposes. So all that's left to do is just add your flowers and you've got your lovely rustic inspired wedding centerpiece. 
the tin can is the same process of letting it soak in some warm soapy water. Here I'm just giving a good clean. Um, be very careful because it does have sharp edges. I learned the hard way. So I'm just using a brush just to give it a good clean inside before I soak it. So again, leave it to soak for at least 30 minutes before removing the labels. Give the can another good scrub just to make sure the glue residue is removed from the can. Paint the can using some chalk paint. You can apply one uh, layer of paint or two, it's really up to you. If you're applying a second layer, make sure to leave the can to dry for at least half an hour. Once the can is completely dry, now it's time to put on the decorations. I'm just using a bit of lace trim which I'm attaching using some hot glue. Using my hot glue gun, I attach the juke ribbon at the bottom of the can. I then attach the twine around the tin can using a double knot. I thread in a pearl bead on one end of the twine and secure, securing it with a knot at the bottom as shown. Trim away the excess. I do the same on the other end, making this end a little bit longer than the other one. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more wedding things from us, please do let us know by commenting in the comment section. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe for weekly DIY tutorials on weddings and events deco. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and share with your friends. Till next time, take care, bye!